Hey guys, Fred here at Math and Engineering. We are moving along our derivative section of Calculus 1, and we, in the previous video, we did power rule, we did product rule, and we also did quotient rule, but we did some easier questions. So this video is gonna be dedicated to the quotient rule. We're gonna do some more difficult quotient rule questions with where, they're, where the question is asking us for different things other than just the first derivative, okay? So that's something that we haven't really spoken about, and it's, there's no, not really any trick to it. So the first derivative is when we apply the quotient rule once to the function, and the second derivative, we just apply the, the quotient rule or we find the derivative again of the derivative. So we're gonna find the derivative and then we'll find it again. That's all that uh, the, the second derivative is. So that's what the first question is asking us. It's asking us to find f of f prime of x and f double prime of x. So that's the first derivative and the second derivative. So that's kind of the first question that, uh, well the first time that we're gonna see that in our videos. And you know, let's get started and we'll take a look at the second question after this one, okay? So we are given f of x is equal to x squared over one plus two x. And if you've done the last video, you know, this should be fairly straightforward. Uh, if you haven't, go back, do it again. If you want to try and solve this question now, pause the video and see if each step of yours matches up with ours. If not, let's get started. So let's go ahead and apply the quotient rule. So we have the derivative of the top of the function and we have f prime of x is equal to the derivative of the top of the function, which is 2x times the bottom, 1 plus 2x minus the derivative of the bottom, right? That's just going to be 2 times the top x squared. And that is all going to be over the square of the bottom. Okay, that was, that was simple enough, I think. So let's go ahead and, you know, make that a little bit uh, more tidy. We're going to have 2x plus 4x squared minus 2x squared over 1 plus 2x squared. And that is going to give us our first derivative of, and we could just, like terms here, break that down. We have 2x plus 2x squared over 1 plus 2x squared. Okay, so that is our first derivative, all right? Now, the question though is asking us, we've only done half the question. We now need to find f double prime of x. So to find f double prime of x, let's take this function, all right? We're gonna take f prime of x and take the, find the derivative of it once more. So let's apply the quotient rule to this function here, and we've gone ahead and expanded the bottom, so that's gonna help us out a little bit when we want to take the derivative. Because if you'll, if you'll see here, taking the derivative of one plus two x squared, all right, we haven't, that's going to be a chain rule related technique, and we haven't learned that yet. So we're going to have to expand that, and we're going to have to differentiate step by step. That's why we've gone ahead and expanded that, so let's get started. So we have the derivative of the top, and I'm just going to write f double prime of x now because we're finding the second derivative. f double prime of x is equal to derivative of the top, so we have two, right? Derivative of 2x is two, plus derivative of 2x squared is going to be 4x, all right, times the bottom function here, which is one plus 4x plus 4x squared minus, I'm just gonna write the, ne the next part of this numerator right below it, okay? We have the derivative of the bottom, and that's going to be four plus eight x, okay? Because we have four x plus four x squared, and that is going to be multiplied by the top of the function, two x plus two x squared, and that is all going to be over the bottom of the function squared. And this time I'm just going to actually write one plus two x squared and we're gonna square that. So that is going to be one plus two x and that is all going to be to the power of four. All right, and I'm going to let you guys expand that. I mean, I don't wanna write it all out. I'm sure you don't wanna watch me write it all out, but I'll just skip to the, uh, the sim more simplified version below. And that's double prime of x is equal to and guys, feel free to go ahead and expand that on your own. I know uh, it's probably easy for you, but by, by you know doing it many, many times, even if it's easy, you kind of make sure that you don't make silly mistakes like that on an exam when it actually counts, okay? 
Okay, so that is the brackets there. So that is the, the simplified version of this, all right? And if we take it one step further and just clean up the top part there, we should be left with, okay, two over one plus two x to the power of three. So we've done what the question has asked. We found the second derivative of f of x and we are done with that question. Now let's move on to the second one, simple as that. Find an equation of the tangent line to the given curve at the specified point. All right, so in a previous question, we did do a tangent line question. We're gonna do another one here. This is a common calculus one type question. This one, however, features the quotient rule and then it asks us to do something with the derivative. So that kind of furthers your understanding of the, the content. We, we know that taking the derivative of a function is going to be equal to the slope of the tangent line. So knowing that, we know that we need to take the derivative and then we need to plug in our point, all right? So let's get started with that. We have our function here, y equals x squared minus one over x squared plus x plus one at point one zero. So let's go ahead and find the equation for the tangent line. And as we just talked about, the first step towards that is taking the derivative. So let's go ahead and take the derivative and we're going to start with the top of the function. So we have x squared minus one, derivative of that is simply two x times the bottom x squared plus x plus one minus derivative of the bottom, that's going to be two x plus one times the top, which is x squared minus one. And that is all going to be divided by the square of the denominator, which is x squared plus x plus one squared. Perfect. Let's move along now, not forgetting our notation. And we, are, we can go ahead and expand that. two x squared plus two x minus two x cubed minus x squared plus two x plus one. And that is all going to be over x squared plus x plus one squared. All right, so, you know, go ahead and, uh, and simplify that. And you should be left with x squared plus four x plus one over x squared plus x plus one squared. Okay, so that is the derivative of this function, okay? That's the derivative of the function and we're good, we can stop there. And now, well, the question's not done yet. We need to find the equation of the tangent line. So now let's go ahead and let's look for our point. Let's plug it in, okay? And let's find our slope because we want to find y prime, okay? So let's take our one zero point, so x equals one, y equals zero. And let's plug that into here and find out what y prime is equal to. So y prime is equal to, and well, y is, we have no y variable on the right side. We do have an x, so let's go ahead and plug that in. And we have four times one plus one over, right, we have one squared plus one plus one squared, and if we go ahead and just calculate that, it's going to be equal to six over nine, which is equal to two over three. Very good, so two over three is gonna be the slope of our tangent line. Now, if we remember back, we, we did this video before, but if you remember back from high school, we have the point form equation of a line, and I'm gonna go ahead and write that down for you. Okay, so that's y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And go ahead and remember that because in calculus one, that, that equation comes up all the time. And all right, so what do we do here? We have m, right? We solve for that. m is two over three, which is the derivative. And we are given a point on the, uh, the tangent line, right? Which is one zero. So we have y1 and we have x1. And knowing those two, we can come up, for, uh, we can come up with the equation that we need. So let's plug in our y1, which is zero, equals m, which is two over three, Go ahead and put that in there. And then we have x minus x1 here is one here, right? Because that's our point. And if we go ahead and simplify that, we should be left with y equals two over three x minus two over three. And there you have it. Simple as that. So that is, and remember what we're, what we're always solving for. You need to go back and read the question. This isn't the derivative. This is the equation of the tangent line 
at 0 0.10, okay? So that is it for this section in quotient rule. Maybe we'll come back to it when we solve our midterms, when we do our midterm preparation. Hopefully that helped you kind of get a feel for some trickier questions and really cement your knowledge and understanding in this subject. So stay tuned. Next up is chain rule. Thanks for watching. Thank you.